Welcome back people and thank you for tuning in. My name is Walter and I am so glad you are here. Uh, today I'm going to be installing a GoPro mount on my ranch hand and my ranch hand ends up being my uh, bumper, uh, my grill guard slash brush guard and this is my uh, Ford F250 Power Stroke Diesel and so I'm going to be installing it right there in the front maybe possibly on other spots so I don't want the GoPro mount to be visible and I want it to be minimal and kind of like out of the way uh, so I'm going to be working really hard on trying to get it kind of out of the way and tucked there but also being accessible so I can get some really cool b-roll uh, I know many of you are car and truck lovers so I know you're going to be wanting to do this to your vehicle so let's get started on that right now the uh, GoPro Hero Black uh, 9. I'd recommend it, it's a great camera. I recently got it and it has amazing stabilization. Like this stuff actually works. So it's actually really cool because it has a screen in the front exactly like the one in the back. So it's like dual screened. Overall, if you're looking for like an like a action cam, I'd recommend this one. It's a little pricey, but it's worth the upgrade from like every other GoPro. And so I have a a bunch of accessories right here. I got like a 61 accessories from like Amazon. Or I mean a bunch, it's like, like I have like a bunch of little screws and everything. So these are all the mounts that I have right here. I will be putting the Amazon link for all this stuff in the description below. So look for that if you want to buy this stuff. So very quickly, if, I, if you have any kind of camera, it comes with that thread, right? And that thread actually ends up being a 1 4th course 20. I think it's like 20 is for like every Inch, there's 20 like threads I think I think I might be wrong correct me if I'm wrong let me know you can even lead me in like the wrong direction in the comments so I'll believe it all right I believe y'all um so that one ends up being a uh, 1 4 20 course which you can get that at uh, Home Depot Lowe's any any hardware store they have that so I have a whole box full of them so I'm gonna get putting these around the truck okay so my plan is to get these washers right here and use that along with a screw and one of these attachments right here to mount it to the ranch hand in the front. And I keep saying ranch hand, but the ranch hand is the front grill guard, uh, brush guard. All right, so I found these old washers in my washers uh, box and I think they're gonna fit really well because the ranch hand is kind of, uh, has like a bigger hole. So I'm gonna feed that, my, the plan is to feed that through there and then kind of clamp itself uh, to, the, to the brush guard right there. And then I'm hoping to have this like nut right here to kind of bolt down and then this can go on the very tip of it right here. So let's go do that right now. I really love ranch hands, like they make the best brush guards. Uh, Buckstop also makes nice ones, but I, I like more of the industrial look that ranch hand has. Uh, I know Buckstop, they're more like uh, cleaner and sleeker. They kind of flow more with like a newer truck, but I think an older truck should have like a diamond pattern, like everything. So, that's why I like ranch hands. I know. All right, I'm a fool. I can just take off this part right here and spin on the base. All right, I think that's gonna work out perfectly right there. So this is the mount I'm gonna be using and I went with the longer one because it sticks out more and it's a little bit more adjustable on the angles. So I'm gonna go put that on the truck right now. All right, so I got the mount right there and I decided to go with it a little more centered than how I previously had put it like more over here. So I want it right there. And so now I'm just gonna screw on the base right here. All right, so I'm all done. I torqued everything down, you know, everything looks smooth and great. Uh, I think that's perfectly how I want it to look. And beauty about this thing is that it's gonna allow me to get shots forward and upward, so I'm pretty excited about that. I do have this thing right here, and I'm gonna put it on right here. Uh, it's kind of like an extender piece, and I'm gonna put it right there, so hopefully I can get more of a backward shot towards like the driver, and maybe angle it like side to side. So I look forward to doing that and getting some sweet shots. Uh, that is something that I need, and I'm gonna have to 
really, really try. And remember that I have a GoPro here when I'm driving and because I might go to a store or something and I need to bring that with me because I know it will get stolen pretty quickly. So it's getting a little chilly here in Houston, Texas. So I had to go change shirts to you know a long sleeve shirt. Um, if you're interested in this build, mod, hack, or whatever you want to call it, uh, I'm gonna in the description below, I'm gonna be putting a list and links to everything that I used and uh, where I got all this stuff. You can make this like a cheaper mod actually and by only getting, instead of getting like the 61 piece for like $20, you can get just like individual pieces for even cheaper. So I'll be putting even those pieces uh, down in the description below. So from the start, I wanted to mount this GoPro on like any mount that I could on this truck. And I'm kind of like realizing that you really cannot mount it on most places without the suction cup. So I'm gonna be getting that and I think it's really crucial to get multiple shots. Um, that might be like the one and all kind of thing instead of mounting like with the 3M stuff. But I am gonna be mounting uh, maybe a 3M sticky pad right here on the fuel tank right here. Uh, I would do it on this corner or like right here or here, but uh, this might get in the way. So I'm gonna be putting it right there. And maybe, I don't know if I wanna do this yet, but I might be putting one on the top right there. Uh, so my bad guys, I was hoping that I could be able to put it everywhere, but it's kinda, I'm kinda limited on where I can do it. So I'll be getting that suction cup, that way I can get more B-roll. All right, so if you're like me, you need some solid proof, and uh, I'm not happy with when I watch a video and like the proof is not shown. So I'm gonna be going to the store right now, so I'm gonna be showing you how well the mount works. I'm gonna be taking it down the bumpiest road I know. I live, I live in the suburbs of Houston, so it's not really like the country or off-roading, but it's the bumpiest thing I can find, all right? So just bear with me, y'all. Y'all, so I just cheated and I couldn't help but uh, go take a peek and I stopped to take a thumbnail picture and I saw the footage and it looks great. Like I'm so happy that I can finally now have really cool like scenic photos and like videos and now when I travel, I'm gonna have the GoPro in the front, maybe maybe even a second GoPro in the back uh, and it's gonna have a really cool like uh, B-roll of like the truck driving and Kind of like the scene and the mountains like i can have it inside but i really don't want it inside i want more like an actual uh real life footage of it so i'm really excited about that So we're working on Boney's OBS and we've been pulling our hair with these wires right here. We don't know where they lead to. We have three wires and there's two switches that came on the truck and I'm flying in to see if the switches actually have anything to do with, with these wires. Yeah. So we got the multimeter here and we're gonna get to work on it. Uh, hopefully we don't kill ourselves, you know, it's pretty dangerous stuff. But if you lick it, you can feel a tingle in your mouth, and that's one way we can find out. Because I don't know how to use this, so I just do the, do yeah. the tingle. Yeah. You can go ahead and do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, just use it. <laughs> Alright, it is now the second day, and I am actually on my way to the store. It is actually surprisingly a cold and really chilly morning here in Houston, Texas. It's never cold and it's never like uh, like rainy at the same time. It's very rarely like that here. We get one extreme or the other. Um, so it's kind of a weird morning today. So I am actually on, on the way to Walmart and Harbor Freight. I need to buy a battery terminal for the Red 7.3. So I'm gonna try to walk in and walk out of Harbor Freight without buying like uh, too many things. That store is my weakness and I like have to buy like everything I see because I love the deals that they have there. Like it's extremely cheap and it's not like that bad of quality. So I'm gonna walk in and walk out with the work gloves and I'm hopefully I can do that. So that is the plan, let's see if I can do it. Here in Texas, we get excited about 
pretty hot cold starts. It's about like 45 degrees out here. So this is the coolest thing we can do. At Walmart, I need to buy it's a battery terminal for this Red 7.3. One of the battery terminals that's kind of, uh, it's kind of not, not the greatest setup. It, it could be way better. It, 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 I'm surprised it starts. All right, let's just put it that way, right? So the plan is to get the work gloves and the battery terminal. So I'm gonna go get that right now. So I have a question, like honestly, like so there's something that's always been odd to me. Like whenever you go up to like a speed bump and I see people like kind of go around and you know like only get one tire instead of both tires like what is up with that like uh, I feel like your suspension gets you know strained a little bit more instead of hitting it straight ahead evenly you know I feel like you're gonna end up hitting it why not hit it evenly you know uh, I've never gotten that part and plus I think whenever you hit it like only on one side it, it feels rougher like you kind of jolted from one side the other way you kind of jolt evenly I, i've never gotten that of people like trying to avoid them <sighs> all right so i walked in and walked out of the store with the gloves um and the only thing i did buy extra other than like a few gloves are the, these uh fucking pick sets uh, I recommend these. These are uh, pretty flimsy, but they're I have a pack already and but they're really sharp and really surprisingly sturdy. They're not snap-on sturdy, but you know, they're for what they are, they're pretty sturdy. I'll tell you that. So overall it's my garage. Many of you may not know by this point, but it's actually about two people and it's me and my brother Boney. But Boney right now is in uh, school right now and he's uh, taking a lot of classes so he's kind of not really in the picture right now but he is a part of Tamal Garage and like he is like a big part of uh, all the stuff that I do uh, from like the planning he's always like you may not see it but he's always in the planning he's like real mechanically he's really smart on that end so you may not see him a lot he might be appear here and there but he's trying to do his best to you know get school uh, controlled and you know all these classes he's taking and then also be in the channel and also working on his uh OBS. It's really hard because like he's trying to get mods done. Uh, I know he's trying to uh, straight pipe his truck and everything. Uh, he can do some stuff, but he really can't because he's got other stuff to do and he's like more priorities. You will be seeing more of him in the channel further down the semester. Uh, and that's kind of like uh, finals are kind of like coming up, so it's kind of like the last little bit. So stay tuned for him. All right, so this is what we're trying to fix right here, and this is on uh, my dad's truck, so it's the Red Seven Three. And this is his terminal right here, and you see it's kind of loose right there. And this one right here. Both of them actually. <laughs> yeah. He, he kind of just jimmied it really quick, that way he can drive it. But it's been like this for over maybe like six months uh, since he did it. Probably, yeah. Probably months. even longer, yeah. So we're trying to fix this and do it properly. Uh, so we're trying to figure out if this one right here has a loop. I think it has a loop. but. We're about to get started on that. We can do it. I John did it. What are we gonna do? All right. Uh, he got the he got the exhaust and he cut a bunch of slits all around it <laughs> and then bent it out and, st and stuck it in there. Okay. So John is a previous owner of this uh, OBS, and he lived out in the country and he kind of just uh, I'm trying to find a polite way to say it, but he kind of just like jimmied everything all right yeah. like like uh, what was the worst thing we, we everyone found a spade drill bit in the engine bay in there and then uh the radio whole wire harness was just like a mess yeah i switched out the radio it was electrical tape and it was a whole mess <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this guy just pretty much he was the zip ties all right he was he was a uh, the texas zip ties and if you don't know what zip ties is it's great youtube channel um he used a uh, license plate uh, to fix uh, the like a, he fixed the the dash with the license plate yeah. <laughs> not gonna lie genius yeah so if you ever need sheet metal just use an old license plate all right so let's get back to this all right so we just stripped back the wire uh it's like bare copper and now we're gonna snip it here and then fold it over because this uh, terminal is kind of thick right here. That 
hole right there is bigger than the actual thickness of this one. So we're gonna need to thicken the wire up. So we're gonna fold it upon itself and then put it in here, tighten it down. And then the other one right here, we're just gonna put on probably here or maybe the end right here. And that'll be fine. done and that's how we did it we got like I told you earlier we folded it over and then in this part right here we ended up putting inverting the bolt and we put the head on the bottom and then we flipped it over that way we can have like a mounting spot right here for uh, more attachments right here because we are probably tomorrow or the next day after that we're gonna put uh, a fuse block in the inside of the truck and we're gonna be running more lights from here so we like using this stuff right here. It's NCP2 and it's really great uh, battery corrosive stuff. Uh, works like a charm. And so we're just gonna put everything back together. I think uh, that's about it. All right, we are all done now. Look at that. It looks way better, cleaner. Uh, got that red tape, you know, so you know it's power. Um, I think he's gonna be really happy with it. Uh, we still need to work on that one at some other day. And then, uh, we're gonna work on these two at some point. Like, look at that. That looks really bad right there. But yeah, well, I got Boney out here, you know. Got him pitching. Thought time. He got his nicest jacket out here. Yeah, it's too cold. He's trying to look good out here for, you know, the single uh, middle-aged women. Oh, you already know. He said, oof. So if you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up and please go and subscribe to our channel. We will be putting out two videos a week, one on Monday and then one again on Thursday. And maybe if we have more time, we make more videos, we'll be putting more videos out as soon as we make them. So I will see you on the next one.